Well today I've got a great lesson for you on Stick Season by Noah Kahan. Now there's some really great finger style and strumming patterns in this one, as well as some good chords for you to learn as well. So check this out with me, we're in standard tuning with no capo on, so it's going to be E, A, D, G, B, E. So make sure all of your strings are in tune first, and if you don't have a tuner, you can check one out in the description below. And if the chords in today's lesson are a little bit too difficult, stay until the end and I'll show you a variation of some easier chords you can play. But make sure you're in tune and then we can get onto the chords. So we've got first off our A major chord, so check out the chord chart there. It's going to be playing from the 5th to the 1st string, so not the 6th string. It's going to be open 5th string, 2nd fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string, open 1st string. So just make sure all of those notes are ringing out. That's our A major. And then we're going to move on to an E major. Now this time we've got all 6 strings being plucked. So open 6th, 2nd fret of the 5th and 4th string, 1st fret of the 3rd string, open 1st and 2nd string. So we've got our A major, E major, then this is going to be the hardest chord for you, it's an F sharp minor. So we're barred on the second fret and if you need a little bit of extra power and strength behind that, you can use your middle finger coupled with your index finger, place it as close to the second fret as you can without going over of course because if you play close to the first fret, you're actually gonna find it harder and you're gonna need to press down, uh, which will be really difficult on your index finger. So press as close to the second fret as you can, and then we're gonna play fifth and fourth string on the fourth fret. So F sharp minor. So make sure all of those notes ring out first. That's the hardest one to get them all ringing out. And then our final chord is going to be a D major, just from the 4th to the 1st string. So it's open 4th, 2nd fret of the 3rd, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and then 2nd fret of the 1st string. So that's our D major. So let's recap quickly for all of our chords. We've got an A major, which you can play with different fingers as well, but I prefer to use the middle ring and pinky fingers. So A major. E major. F sharp minor. And then D major. So those are the four chords, there's really not much more to it than that. Now let me show you the finger picking pattern and then I'll get into the structure of the song and the strumming patterns and little variations throughout the song. So I've got my pick in my hand, I'm actually going to just hold that and use my first three fingers for the picking pattern. So starting on our uh, A major, we're going to pluck the fifth string, fourth and second, fifth, third, fourth, second. So play that slowly with me. So, a little bit faster. And let's get that a bit faster again. One, two, three, four. So that's really the only finger picking pattern you need to know and it'll be played across different chords and using different strings as we go as well, but it's pretty simple. So the intro is just going to be on that A major, we'll play it through three times and the last time we'll just end on the fifth string. So let me show you that now. So you see there, I'm just muting that with my palm at the end of that, so three times. A single fifth string pluck. That will take us straight into verse one which is going to begin exactly the same. So starting on our A major we're going to play it through four times this time. A 
And you'll see in the last time I play it, I'm not actually playing the second string at the end of it. So the last time would be... So there, five, three, four, and end on that four. So let me play it again. So it's really not that difficult to get your head around the finger picking pattern. So let me play from the start just so you can get your head around it. And then we're going to get into our E major and it's going to be a similar plucking pattern. Six, four and, six, four and two, six, three, four, two. And then repeat that one. So six, four and two, six, three, four, two. So the picking pattern's the same, except we're just not playing our fifth string, we're playing our sixth string instead. So. And again, just ending on that fourth string. So, so far for the verse. So then we're going to move on to our F sharp minor. So if we've got A major, E major, then F sharp minor. Same picking pattern, six, four and two, six, three, four, two. And then on to our D major. Now this is where the picking pattern changes a little bit, but only because we're not playing the first string. So it's going to be four, four and two, four, three, four, two. So. So it's similar, you just only have three strings to play across. So that four times will be. So from the start, we've got our A major. E major. F sharp minor. And then onto our D major. And then that will take us straight into verse 2. So let me play it one more time for you. And then into verse 2. Now verse 2 is where we're going to use our pick, so it's going straight back into those same chords and our strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down. So let's practice that together. One, two, three, four. So using our A major to start off with, just the fifth to the first string, remember, so. And then straight onto our E major. So it's very similar, it's the same chord progression, just changing from picking to strumming. Now notice when I'm playing the first chord, the first down, I'm just going to play the lower strings. I'm not going to play all of the strings, just to give it a little bit of variation. So. Then we'll move on to an F sharp minor. And then on to our D major to finish off, just from the fourth string down. So let me bring that together for you. You might want to play along. So A major, E major, F sharp minor, D major. You know the chords already, so let's do it. there at the end of it we're just going to go so that's the end of verse two just ending on that single down strum rather than playing it through four times it'll be two times and that will take us straight into the chorus
So the course is going to be played with exactly the same chord progression, just a tiny change at the end, but we're just going to start off with single strums. So we've ended on our D major, and then we're going to start A major. One, two, three, four. 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 Now you might want to change the ending of that D major. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And you might just want to do a little pick up as we head back into the second half of the chorus, which will be back to the same way we played verse two with our strumming pattern. the variation we're going to go to a D major so you see there two times played through on the D major and then on to an E major so that whole thing the second half of the chorus And as we finish on that A major, we might just end with a and then straight back into our verse, which is verse three. And so on. So verse three is exactly the same as the verse two with this strumming. And then the second chorus is the same as the second half of the first chorus, just played through twice. So without strumming rather than our single strums. So played through twice, it's the same as the verse except for that change to the E major at the end of the chorus. That'll take us straight into the bridge, which is gonna be exactly the same as the choruses. So going from that D major to that E major, and then back to our A major. Now that'll take us into another chorus where we're gonna begin just with single strums again. So the same structure as the first chorus, the first time through will be single strums, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on until we get to our... And second time through the chorus will be with our strumming pattern. Now that chorus also serves as the outro, so at the very end of that we'll go from our D major. like that. So it's actually going to be held longer on the E major, so... So four times through of that strumming pattern on the E major, so... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then a single strum of A major to finish off the song. Now I did promise that I'd teach you an easier variation of the chords, so let me get my capo and chuck it on the second fret there. And the chords are just going to be transposed down two semitones, if you understand that. So it's just going to be a G major. And then on to a D major. So let me show you the G major. It's third fret of the sixth, second fret of the fifth. Open, 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 third fret. Then D major, you've already learnt at the start of this tutorial. Then an E minor. Open, second, second, open, open, open. And then a C major. Now this one is just going to be from the fifth, fret, fifth string to the first, so third fret of the fifth, second fret of the fourth, open, first fret of the second, and then open first. So... D, E minor, C major, C 
So that's the easier variation if you're struggling with that F sharp minor. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.